Hey people, I'm going to talk about another Master Grade kit that I built about a few months ago, but I'm reviewing it right now. This is the build Mark II from the series Gundam Build Fighters. This is technically a parts and color variant of the Mark II 2.0 that was released way back in 2005 as one of the first 2.0 kits. This particular kit was released back in 2014 with great controversy from the Japanese audience in regards to the heavy recycle of the Mark II 2.0. And ever since this kit has been released, it has not received many reprints at all, or to anybody's knowledge, additional reprints compared to the original Mark II 2.0. Now, no, now what we get with this kit, it is of course the build, the build Mark II, and the pieces to make it either this particular kit or the original Mark II 2.0. Now, to prove my point that you do get all the pieces, here are all the extra parts that come with the kit that were either not cut off the runner or are not attached to the kit itself. These are from the polycap runner. There's the headset, the cockpit, the cockpit, the yellow chest fence, in addition to the headset that I didn't bother building. Now, I've built the headset before when I first built, built a Mark II 2.0 a few years ago. I wasn't impressed by that headset, so when I started building this kit, I didn't bother to assemble that headset, as it's also full of a lot of delicate parts that would probably break if I kept it assembled and not in use. This also comes with this backpack connector, so you can use the backpack on this kit on many other Master Grade kits if you have them. So it comes with this particular piece and these type of modifier pieces. And according to the manual, it does show you some idea of how you can do it. Yes, the M one sixteen is still is still there. I didn't want to fidget around with all the spare parts just to go look for it. So I hope you take my word that it is in in the tray. And for those who are wondering what the runners would have looked like when you got it out of the box, here's a good look at it for those interested.
It also comes with a sheet of sticker decals. Like this one. It also comes with a bunch of correction decals. I mean correction stickers on a foil sheet like this one. These yellow ones are for the rifle. These are for several pieces on the build, build Mark II booster. As you can see, I used a few of them as those parts were not clear, which I will show you in a bit. And of course, once again, all right. And to further prove that this does come with all the original pieces to the Mark II 2.0. Here's the shield. As you can see, the ammo, the extra ammo packs are put to good use on the Build Mark II booster. Now on the original, on the original kit, the extra ammo packs will be kept on the shield as the shield isn't too well designed and when hooked onto the kit I just don't bother using the shield comes with the shield connector as you can see here of course you will not be using this shield as you have the build mark 2 booster hooked onto the arms in place of where the shield would be would be Comes with an extra uh, magazine for the bazooka, which can be kept on the side skirt, but you probably won't be using it. Also, it's really easy to lose, so I just don't keep it hooked up. And it also comes with beam saber effect parts, like most of every other kit that has beam sabers. They're there, no worries. So if you want to use the beam sabers, you know, know that they're there instead of having you to buy another kit. Now, now, what I do not have hooked on the kit is the little transport fighter for the Mark II booster. This is if you want the booster hooked to by itself with the fighter, but technically I keep it unhooked. You can also store the fighter onto the Mark II booster, which I will show you in a moment. But I usually keep it off as it looks goofy. Now as to hook the booster the fighter on back onto the booster there's this little connection right here if you can see it really carefully for which you can how's the how's the build mark 2 oh fighter boost fighter onto the booster and house it that way. Still literally no balance issues with this kit. Despite despite the backpack. Excuse me. Being hooked onto the kit. As you can see here, but for all intents and purposes, I'm going to keep the fighter unhooked.
as as the build mark two is often is often deployed it, like this without the build without the build booster mark twos whose fighter hooked onto it. But it's there if you want it if you want it to display it on its own or if you need to store it someplace and you don't want to lose track of it. But for my preferences, mm -mm. as for how that fighter would be, would have looked like, it would have looked something. It would have attached into the booster like this, as you can see with that particular connector. I'm not going to bother taking it apart and rearranging it, doing all the gymnastics and logistics. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you what, what it would have looked like based on the manual pictures during assembly. Something like this. And then it says you can also hook it up on an action base and have it displayed by itself with BA3 Bravo 1 11. In addition to in addition to the new parts that come with this particular kit, as you already know, it still comes with a rifle, with a beam rifle, as seen on the skirt. But in blue. Navy blue to be exact. And it also comes with the Mark II bazooka which you can see right there in the holster on the back skirt. Despite the build booster Mark II being attached to the build Mark II, it doesn't, it luckily does not get in the way. And there's one of the little correction stickers, as you can see right there right there and right there now I've had this up on my shelf for months and months on end it has not fallen over once now here he is, next to the Mark II 2.0. This is the high definition version, to be exact. So, so it's probably not going to come with a diorama base. But if you purchase the regular edition of Mark II 2.0, it does come with a diorama base. Now, the thing that does not come with the build Mark II Ooh, is that diorama base. If you care about the diorama base so much, that you can. What was I gonna say again? All right. If you care about the diorama base so much, it's just better to go pick up. It's just better to go pick up the e Mark II 2.0. But if you but if you want something interesting on your shelf and don't care about that diorama base like most other people, 
You build, then go pick up the build. Then go pick up the build mark too. Now I weathered up my a hey, Mark II two two so I can make it Ellie's unit from Double Zeta. I could have made it Emma's unit or Camille's unit from Zeta, but I chose was to make it Ellie's unit. There's just not much to say about the build Mark II aside from the fact that you can mix and match the pieces into one kit or the other and it comes with the build booster Mark II. Now, well, as I've said earlier, the build the build Mark II is becoming much much tougher to get despite being released about six years ago. When I went to my local hobby shop to go oh, pick up the build old Mark II, they said that they were getting a that they were excuse me that they were having a really tough time getting a restock on it. And when they finally and when they finally got a hold of a master grade build old Mark II for me need to build. They said that they had to send one of their friends over to Japan and scour the discount bins and just to go get it. Because when I opened up the box it smelled like Akihabara. For a little side note on how I got my hands on this particular build build Mark II Master Grade. As for articulation, if you have a Mark II 2.0, it's technically the same. Still does not come with its own action-based connector despite being a reissue. Now, if you've built now if you've built the 2011 reissue of Wing Gundam um, Verka, it came with its own unique action-based connector. This build Mark II who does not come with its own unique action base connector. In the manual it says it's to use the proprietary connector that comes with your action base if you purchased if you purchased one and are wondering what those little connectors are for. But aside from all of that, the biggest question comes down to is do you really want to build do you really want to buy and build the Mark II the build Mark II. Now, if I were to purchase a, a Mark II 2.0 and I had to choose between the regular edition and the build Mark II, I'd go with the build Mark II. It comes with all the pieces to the Mark II 2.0 and, and the build booster and the build booster Mr. Mark II. Sure, you do not get the diorama base as goes with the regular edition, but at least it stands out on your shelf and it makes and it makes for one conversation piece. Now if now if you are a big fan of Zeta, Double Zeta, or Gundam or Gundam in general, and you don't want the extra the extra backpack, then go pick up the regular edition. It's going to be a lot cheaper. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be much cheaper. It's going to be more easily available. I mean, easy, easy, easy to acquire and more readily available as compared to the build of the Mark II. Now, I've waited about an extra two years here's just to go get another access point to this build, build Mark II, and it was 
not a very fun untime aim of waiting and having resources set aside just to go pick it up. If if you're if you're interested in picking up a master grade build build Mark II. Now I could fully understand I could fully understand why they did not uh, make why they didn't why Bandai did not uh, print more Mark II why did I didn't why they didn't build I meant why they didn't produce more build Mark II's lost my train of thought there for a moment but anyway hey hey if you're interested in picking up a Mark II 2.0 there's there's multiple different versions on the market between the regular edition and the build and the build mark two. If you want if you want just the regular version, go for it. If you want something that's more interesting than the usual, then go with the build then go with the build version. Either one is a good choice, but I prefer the build Ult Mark II just because it has an interesting backpack and it has more weapons. As compared to the regular Mark II, which is just as the usual rifle, bazooka, and beam sabers, in addition to the diorama. Aside from that, at I will be signing out.